Hello everyone and uh, welcome to episode 5. Why the hell is this up again? Alright, so welcome to episode 5 everyone. Hell of an office one. Alright, let's work. Want me to make you the best Supremos and Resolver weapons? You need depleted uranium. Lucky for you, Castillo has stashed his supply with the biggest guns on the island, his anti-aircraft cannons. When you've got some of that sweet uranium, you can bring it back to my office, or to one of my associates. If you capture an FND base, a member of Team Juan will move in and give you access to my inventory. And don't forget, rank has its privileges. When Clara is kind enough to promote you, we'll be able to hook you up with better gear. Just have those pesos ready. Even in revolution, nothing comes free. And here's some advice, guerrilla to guerrilla. Have some fun for fuck's sake. Die with a smile on your face. You'll be back. They always... Okay, so... So let's have a look at the arsenal. Once you're back at Santuario, shake the trees for guns, ammo, new believers. Casio was surprised. Let's keep it that way. Welcome to Libertad, Danny. You can leave any time. What's the rush? Inspiring. Let's free Yara, shall we? All right. Castillo controls all of Yara with soldados, slaves, and blood. The capital is a stronghold. We take Esperanza, we free Yara. Best chance we got to weaken Castillo is to hit military targets like FND bases and checkpoints. But most important, we have to surround Esperanza and trap Castillo in his cage. That means targeted operations that will unite the revolution and make Libertad stronger. To do that, I need you to recruit three groups in Yara to fight with Libertad. Each is waging war across Yara with a different piece of Castillo's empire, all controlled by his inner circle. In El Este, foreign invaders like Mickey Industries suck our resources dry, and Admiral Benitez defends Castillo's poison lifeline. But the old legends of 67 can help us turn the tide. They're hiding in the jungles of the highest mountains of Yara. Their greatest guerrilla, El Tigre, is waiting with open arms to help you bring them on our side. Then we have Valle de Oro. 
not just the engine of Castillo's Viviro operation, but also his propaganda machine, run by his Minister of Culture, Maria Marquesa. But I have some old friends who can run our counter-propaganda campaign, Maximas Matanzas. They were the voice of the protests and can mobilize Yara's dissidents to fight for Libertad. They've gone dark, last seen at a fort in Balaceras. We need to find them before Castillo's forces do. In Madrugada, we have Castillo's nephew, Jose, a slave driver who forces outcasts to grow that poison Viviro tobacco. But the Montero family is waging war against Jose. They hate visitors, but I have intel on a mechanic who has a workshop in Costa del Mar. His name is Fili Barsaga, and he's their gatekeeper. If I were you, Danny, I'd start in Madrugada. We take back that tobacco with the Montero's help, and we got Castillo's Viviro at the source. You just need to find this mechanic, Philly. I'll be here actioning targeted Libertad strikes against Castillo throughout Yara. Hang on. I'm going to get all these groups to sign up to Libertad by myself? How? Simple. You help. Any way you can. All right. I send a squad to these groups, I'm an invader. I send a scout, then I'm not serious. With you, they get my best career without politics and bullshit. Just help. Libertad takes the capital, we slit Anton's throat, maybe drink his blood, etc., etc. Then he needs a walk. You are Libertad, Fa. Yeah, yeah. I'm not Clara's best career. You are. You're not listening. Translate what? The accent. Clara hides it best she can, but she was born rich. From a family of true Yaren she left behind. She can shoot, bleed, drink with us all she wants. But she can't hide the stink of the upper class. What's that have to do with me? You are an orphan, Danny. Poor. From the dirt. When they see you, they don't see politics. They see they have no excuse. She's using me. See? And you're using her right back. Do you want to kill Anton? See? You want to free Yara? Sure you do. But here's what Clara can't say, but you and I both know. You want this. You're a guerrilla. And for a guerrilla, the shit my pants rush of an ambush, the smell of sulfur burning your nostrils, it's... It's... It's fun. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. Right. <clears throat> I want that one. I can't take you in this thing, amigo. Danny, listen to Juan. You kill soldiers, Castillo's going to send his special forces after you. Know what makes them so special? They're especially trained and heavily armed. Fuck you, smartass. But yes, you've been warned. Clara, who am I looking for in Madrugada again? You want Carlos Montero, the leader of a group of farmers
farmers trying to take back their land from the army. But he'll never meet with you. Why not? He's what you would call old school. Doesn't like outsiders and doesn't trust anyone except the family. Great. Don't worry. Philly can help you. He's your inn. He's at his shop near the Martinez airstrip. Ah, <sighs> nothing comes easy. Nothing worth fighting for. Suerte, Danny. What kind of person works in a place like this? Are you Philly? I'm Danny. No, 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 Philly here. Whoa, what's in your back? Know where I can find him. Cerveza. So who's in charge? Everything got another purpose. And you come here for a second. Can you just come here? Can you hold that down for me? That's a dead man switch. One move. So, why are you here? I'm with Clara from Libertad. Didn't she say I was coming? Clara, Libertad. That's a big name to throw around. <laughs> but I don't see Clara. I only see you. So why are you here? Got family to save? Got kids? No. So what do you want out of this? I want my finger off this switch. And I want to know who's gonna help me take down Castillo. Okay. You're safe now. <laughs> so you're Clara's hero, huh? I'm no hero. That's what he said, what did you want? Philip Magic, baby. <laughs> want us to help you with that? You need Carlos Montero, our backbone. His family is gonna save our land. Great! Take me to him. No, 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 no. Step one, Philly needs to love you. Step two, Baby Montero needs to love you. Baby Montero? <laughs> See that? Chorizo, come on, let's go back. La Espada, his daughter. You know, last time I heard, she went to hit that outgas plantation east of here. She likes you, you're in. A good luck finding her. La Espada, oh, man. She's a fiera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Next time I see you, I want to play with that crazy backpack, deal? No. Well, then don't let the poison get you down. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Fucking comedian. Bike. You can't come in this ride, amigo. Ow. Philly. Who's this? 
Danny. You know, the guerrilla you tried to blow up? Oh, the hero! Que hola! What's this plantation look like? Uh, you know, uh, cigars, white suits, dinner parties. Except with guns. Come on, big city hero. You're in the west now. It's a plantation! It's an old building with tobacco all around. It's bad I got her size on the tenant, so she's probably inside. Who is she after? I don't know. The Monteros play it quiet here. And you might actually want to try doing the same. Okay, hang on. I need to go here. Why is that dog one? Hi, oh, pup. Sorry, you need to run over your doggy. Hey, Clara. Any contact with Carlos Montero yet? Not exactly. Apparently, I have to find his daughter first. Ah, oh, yes, Camila. Do whatever it takes. We need the farmers behind us if we're going to take the West. Head in there now. Call you once I've met Carlos. It'll be great, Danny. Carlos is going to love you. This espada isn't fucking around. <laughs> Shit. Another one. What the fuck is happening up there? No. You know who's a traitor to our country? Your boss. General Castillo. Okay. Stop! Please! <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Danny, from Libertad. You baby Montero? Baby Montero? <laughs> you fucking feely. I need to talk with your father. Clara wants to make a deal. Clara's name doesn't mean shit around here. You work for Clara Garcia? You're Carlos Montero's daughter? <gasps> Please don't kill me. <gasps> Tell me where your lieutenant went. Promise you won't kill me first. Cayo Villarreal! Cayo Villarreal! It's so safe, private island. Go when you need. No, but it's enough. And him? And he's gonna tell his boss, Jose Castillo, that I'm gonna kill all of his lieutenants one oh. by oh. one. That's for fun. Then I'm gonna free all of the outcasts making that bullshit tobacco. That's for my people. And finally, he's gonna tell Jose that I'm gonna slit his throat right aquí. And that, that's for me. I feel like I should write this down. Just tell that short little pig fuck this sword was here. And tell your friends they're on the wrong team. Let's go see Papa. Espondeles sondos. All right. We'll take the horses outside. Okay. Okay. What can you tell us about this great one? Intruders! We got soldiers down! Sounds like they found the bodies you sliced up. Military's going to be on our ass. Finger, we got trouble. I need this, I need this. 
So much for quiet. Let's go. This way. Come on. Right behind you. Oh, hello. Keep up and stay close, okay? Okay. Let's ride. Come on. That went pretty good, no? Let's go! Okay, I think we lost. Okay, we're good. Okay. I think we lost them. See, si. we're good. You ride well. You're not bad yourself. Where did you learn to shoot like that? The military academy. 16 to 21. Mm, we can uh -huh. use that. I also make a me mojito. <laughs> Believe that when I taste it. Haven't had anything but really septic tank shit for a I'm going to pretend that's not a thing. Seems like Castillo's made things pretty rough out here. His nephew will say it's a real problem. We call that tiny bastard Napoleon Epigenio. Little Napoleon. Cute. The name is cuter than the man. The Monteros have been on this land for two hundred years. And now he's turned it all into slave camps for that little bullshit. Jose works our people non-stop with a gun to the head. Come mierda even took my papa. He was in those fields too long. Voice on the Not that he'd ever admit it. Now papa leads a little revolution of his own. You're going to need libertad if you want to stop Castillo. You're not the first one to tell me that. But Papa's got a bit of pride in him. Only trust his own blood. You're a Montero or you're a nobody. So what you're saying is, I'm fucked. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's something different about you. You're not like the others glad said. Maybe he'll like you. Maybe. How far away is this camp of yours? Not far. You in a rush? No, no, it's okay. Getting some good cardio in. You're in the West now, Guerrero. The sword and the hero. <laughs> nice to see you two alive. Not all find it, Hannah. Huh? It was all trouble, but lucky <laughs> for you, this one's good. <laughs> well, you're just in time. I'll have his making dinner. Scouting. Bullshit. Who's that? My name is... I'm not asking you. Easy, Papa. This is Danny from Libertad. Libertad don't mean shit to me. And where's our blindfold? Papa, look around. 
These are farmers, no fighters. You want Chorizo to go out and blow up Napoleon and Pequeño? Hey, 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 leave Chorizo out of this. <laughs> Our people need to learn to be a guerrilla, Camila. From us? That's why I'm here. Don't look like no guerrilla to me. All I see is a tourist. The tourist fucks us. It's on you, Camila. He likes you. Welcome to Finca Montero, hero. Come on, Choris. Save me for dessert, buddy. Come on. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and I will see you in the next episode.